So for the high school kids, you may have to go take an NAIA or Division II, Division III, or get your eyes off of the ASUs or Ohio States. Maybe you go to NAU. Maybe you go to Eastern Washington. Here's the thing. You just need to go, number one, go somewhere you're going to get a free education. Get an education, first and foremost. You can't eat the football, right, Brad? When you get on, life moves on, you can't eat the football. You become broadcasters like us. But here's the thing. If you have the talent and you play a lot of football and you're playing good football, if you have the talent and the potential to go to the next level, they will find you, they will see you, and they will know you have that. So it's just a matter of go somewhere where you're going to get a chance to play, get an education, be happy with your ad, and, and don't worry about all the other stuff. That will take care of itself. How much, of though, and to your point, ACU and Ottawa both have NFL Pro Days, and the NFL scouts show up at ACU and Ottawa. They're, they will find you. Dan's dead on, right on that. Dan Minucci with us for a couple of minutes. The conversation, though, that you, in your space, because I'm sure you have these conversations. I have these conversations with the high school dad that just is playing while well, the kid next door that is getting more attention or the neighbor across the street has a big boat. Nobody cares about the boat and you don't even like the neighbor across the street. What are you worried about? So I'm trying to get to the, do you find talking parents off the ledge now as quarterback dads and moms yes. more uh, over the top than ever? Yeah, you know what? Some yes, some no. I think what the, the parents realize now is what I try to tell them, I said, look, I'm going to develop your son to his to the best that we can make him. He's got to want to buy him to be the best he can be. And for a lot of you parents that are out there and that see that I'm like, look, your son is, is, is very good or he's outstanding. You can't worry about things you can't control. The only thing you can do is get your huddle tape, do the best you can, put it out there, and let's see what happens. And sometimes you might have 20 offers, you might have 20 people talking to you, or you might have three, but you may have to just continue to work at it. You've got to be very patient as a parent and not get caught up in all this, um, I call it the fireworks that are going around a lot of these quarterbacks. You know, some have it and some don't. And you know what? That's okay. They've got to sift through the portal first, in fairness to those colleges, come back to the, to the quarterbacks or players that they know have talent to fit their scheme. And then the rest of everybody else is not that you settle, but there's other opportunities for you to go play. Keyword, go play, go get your free education if it's free or 75% of, and you can show you where it's there. And to your point, Brad, the, the uh, Ottawa's, the ACU's of the world, um, you know, the Occidental Colleges over in California, they have pro days. They're going to see the talent. And they'll understand that the, as long as you're working at your craft and working hard, things will come to fruition. Now, I've been very fortunate with the parents I've had over the years. I, I may have had maybe one or two. I've been doing this, Brad, for, gosh, 25 years now. And I've had one or two that might bounce them around to go, well, let's try this school. It's not working out. Try that school. And I've told them, I said, look, my opinion, I said, if you want it, leave the kid there. Let him compete. You know, the, key, the key word sometimes, Brad, I think gets lost is, how about if we compete yeah. for the starting job yeah, and let's work to see who the best guy is. And you know what? I've had quarterbacks, Brad, that have had to wait till their senior year before they've started. And I've had quarterbacks that are backups that have gotten scholarships. So I think a lot of competition, you talk about Ty Thompson at Oregon, Bo Nix will have one more year. It's great competition for Ty. Ty's extremely talented. Bo Nix is talented. That let's go compete because Bo's moving on. Ty, if he beats him out, great. If not, well, guess what? Ty's got another three years that are there. The whole thing, let's compete, go work hard, get great grades, do the best you can, put your best tape, put your best uh, highlights on your huddle tape, put it out there, market yourself, make coaches aware. You eventually end up where you're supposed to end up, and your focus should be, number one, your education, and number two, the chance to compete. 